Thank you very much, Prime Minister. Colleagues, uh, ladies and gentlemen, so Jamaica can now confirm that we have 105 cases of COVID-19. Uh, this follows 32 new additions over the last 24 hours. The new cases comprise of five males and 27 females who range in ages from 19 to 70 years old. The cases are from St. Catherine, Kingston and St. Andrew. They bring to 34 the number of cases under investigation. Of the remaining 71 confirmed cases, 31 are imported, 34 are contacts of a confirmed case, and six are local transmission. The vast majority of the 32 additions, indeed 31 of the 32, are linked to a call center located in the Portmore area, Olorica Intervention. This facility has a staff complement uh, based on the staff registry of some 787 uh, workers. We have so far in our intervention, uh, 258 individuals have been interviewed and sampled. Uh, 65 of those tests have come back and of that number, 33 samples have come back positive. Two were announced a few days ago, so 31 since today. A senior team from the ministry visited the entity on the weekend, in fact, uh, during the course of the holiday weekend, and the entity has since closed. Arrangements are now being made for the isolation of the newly confirmed cases. The ministry is also working diligently to identify each of their contacts for testing while investigations continue to identify other positive exposed persons. The St. Catherine Health team comprises of approximately 237 members of staff, which includes public health nurses, public health inspectors, and community health aides and they are in fact driving that charge in the parish of St. Catherine. A lot of activity taking place now in St. Catherine as we speak and will continue over the days to come. In terms of recovery, quarantine and isolation, currently 21 persons have recovered from COVID-19, 20 persons are in quarantine and 65 persons are in isolation. We have now tested 1,290 samples, and of that, of course, we have had 105 confirmed positives, 1,185 negatives. Over the last day, or day we announced the uh, mobilization of our mobile testing unit as part of the expanded testing efforts, and we have started, started in Clarendon, in the Corn Peace area, and this will continue over the days to come. We have five such units, and those units are going to be deployed in the respective regional authorities to expand the collection of samples for testing. The actions to contain the spread of COVID-19 and to ensure the best possible health outcomes for infected persons uh, continue to require our best efforts and all our efforts. The challenges in St. Catherine, we think will continue for some time to come and we intend to work, this is the public health infrastructure, to mobilize the all of society approach in order to contain what is uh, an unfortunate situation, but one that we have to confront and deal with. Thank you. Thank you, Minister. I can only continue to stress the importance of every single Jamaican taking personal responsibility